Let's go and read. Hello everybody, my name is Katie, welcome to another video. Today I'm back with a video for you guys which of course you're all excited to see and that is of course my TBR video. So this is for the month of April and April already seems like it's going to be a busy month because of two readathons that I hope to be participating in. One being the Magical the Readathon Iridium and the other being the Realmathon and both of them are, put, are hanging. <laughs> For the whole of the month of April. Both of these readathons are lasting the entirety of the month of April from the first to the very very last day of April so I'm hoping that I can incorporate both prompts with the readathons so it's kind of like a mush up and then I'm hoping with that that I can use those books to go towards my April World of Kit Kats. Well, <laughs> That all depends on what TBR game comes out of World of Kit Kats. So for those of you that don't know, World of Kit Kats is my own TBR game that I have created and that nobody else has. My hair on my face and I can't find it. Where are you? I think we're okay. I think we're okay. And it's basically a board full of colour Kit Kats and is the true just like you roll two dice with your little book counter. You start from the very beginning every time and whatever colour cat comes on, it corresponds to a TBR game, like a gumball machine, a grab machine, like like a deck of cards, a dice TBR game, and so on and so forth. Not me! Stop it! So really it's kind of like a game of chance with using my own books of what comes out. I don't always get to pick my books, so it's a bit like a mishmash. So it's fun at the same time but oh my goodness but for the month of april i'm going to be kind of like sticking to like three books as a minimum and then if i roll any doubles then go from there normally i kind of do like five but because of the readathons it's going to be a busy month so if i can just stick with the three for my water kick outs that'd be great nutmeg relentless today come here that's what i thought you better hide nutmeg is mental today so we'll see how this goes as well but without further ado let's get on to the TBR game board and here we have the Wilder Kit Kats board here is my bookish counter that I will be using and my two dice that I shall be rolling with so let's go for roll number one to see which TBR game comes out so four and a one which is five one, two, three, four, five. We've landed on a yellow cat. Welcome to my giant gumball machine. I don't think I've had this one come out yet, so it's quite exciting. But inside here there are pellets mixed with all sorts of prompts or particular books. There are also some marbles in this as well. And if a marble comes out, that ends up being a free choice. So I'm gonna twist. Ah! Oh, we've got one at the bottom there. As you can see, it's this one here, this little pellet. Let's have a look what's inside. The gumball machine. We have... Ooh. A Sophie Kinsella novel. So, I've now got to find a Sophie Kinsella novel. So prompt number one brings us the giant gumball machine and out of the giant gumball machine came any Sophie Kinsella novel which is handy because I've got a lot of books by Sophie Kinsella. This way gives me the choice to choose a book by Sophie Kinsella. And so I ended up choosing Can You Keep a Secret by Sophie Kinsella and this is on Netflix as a movie. I watched the movie, I really really enjoyed it and yeah. I really want to kind of like read the book and kind of compare it to the movie. Also it's Sophie Kinsella, she's one of the queens of chiclets and her writing is just easy to follow. I've read a couple of her books. I've Got Your Number by her is one of my all time favourite books. So will this be another favourite of mine? Let's hope to see. It's nice to have a chiclet on my TBR just to sort of like flow through. And yeah, fingers crossed that I can get myself through this. Rolling for number two. Oh no! Two twos. And it's a double. It's a four. One, two, three, four. 
We have landed on a treat your shelf though. That's pretty good. So a treat your shelf came out as a second book. This was also a double. And yes. Oh, so I have changed my choice like three times. But I think this is the one I'm just going to go for. So with finishing off House of Earth and Blood. I will then will be continuing on with the series and of course people I'd like to want to push me to read it as well so that I can join the bandwagon but that is House of Sky and Breath the sequel to it and yes this is book number two I am like literally just about to finish House of Earth and Blood I've got like 48 pages left so I should be done with that today but yeah so this is the sequel I think it has roughly around the same pages so yeah whether I will finish it in the month is a different matter I'm hoping that I will because the ending of like House of Earth and Blood is just so like fast paced so much going on but I'm just ready to dive into the sequel and yeah see what's gonna happen next now that I kind of like know all the characters I'm hoping it's gonna be a lot easier to read and yeah hopefully it flows a lot better for me so yes i'm putting a massive book on my tbr but you know even if i can just like get myself like <laughs> starting to read this throughout the month whether i can t like finish it is a different matter but you know even if i can kind of like start it it'd be great to get this book read Morning for number three. Oh no <laughs> Oh no. Oh my goodness. Two ones. It's another double. One, two. Cream cat. Now in order to choose that book, so I've got two left that are in the bag. Numbers one and two. I do have a spinny app, but it doesn't do a number two. So I'm literally gonna just choose this. It's got the option of like yes and no. So I'm gonna say one is yes and two is no. So let's see what we got two is no so let's unwrap number two I literally cannot remember what book is in this <laughs> so it's just me and turn out what have we got here ooh shiver my reread I have not read this in years so this will be interesting to see if I still share the same thoughts. And then we had a wrapped book and as you would have seen the book that came out was Shiver by Maggie Stiefvater. This will be a reread for me. I first read this so many years ago. I think at the time I gave it 4 out of 5 stars. So it will be interesting to see what I think about it a second time around now that it's many many years on. I'm a fully flown fledged adult and yeah we'll just see if i still like this or whether i will find it cheesy it's interesting because like obviously recently rereading shatter me by tara muffy my thoughts of that are different compared to when i first read it so yeah it's interesting to see like where i go with this but yeah this is my first ever maggie steve Water book and yeah i mean we shall see <laughs> so yeah i'm glad this has come out and yeah werewolves so fingers crossed I enjoy this I think I remember the first time around I found it kind of slow paced so we'll see if I enjoy this slow pacedness more this time around or whether I will also find it an issue the second time around as well one for number four six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten a grey cat now is my mini gumball machine pretty similar concept just give it a general shakeroo because there's just like hundreds in <laughs> and then I will select one to come out like the most because it's so full I'm just gonna have to see which one falls into my hand first oh there we go one on the floor but we've got one here and it's this one let's see what it is and hopefully I've got this book in the flat because we'll also have some books oh Scarlet by AC 
Oh, I've never known how to pronounce this, but A C Gohen. I will run shut my cells. Oh, I've actually got it right next to me. Then we got my mini gumball machine, which has like loads of my books off my TBR. I just hope that I have it in my flat. Um, because Will's got like eight of my book boxes that he's looking after until I like move into my own proper place and so yeah luckily this book was within arms reach which was really handy so the book that came out was Scarlet by A. C. Gohen and yeah I've owned this for so many years now I'm hoping that I do enjoy it and fingers crossed that I do um, yeah like it just says here thief outlaw heroine um and i think it's got like robin hood in it and yeah like i don't really know like too much about it um but yeah if you've read this let me know it down below what you thought about it because i haven't really heard a lot of people talk about it and yeah it would be interesting to see if i do enjoy it hopefully i can get around to reading it during the month of april because april already seems like it's going to be a busy month but yeah, it would be good to knock this book off my TBR finally. Could this be the fifth and final book prompt for April? Six and it is off screen, but it is a two, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's an orange cat. And that is our final prompt. Alright, the card games come out for this month too. I've got a nice new deck of cards that I've got right here that I got from the lovely Fair Alert for this month. So, a beautiful deck. I'm choosing the Diamond Pack as well because it's just beautiful. So, basically, I've got to choose a book that I don't want to read as much um, and a book that I do and also a book that I would rather be put on my actual TBR. So basically The Wrong Boy isn't really a book that I need to put on my TBR, it's one of the oldest books I've owned for a while so that's why it's going here. And then The Spanish Love Deception is the late night book Women book club book for the month of April so I really would like to have this put on as well as I'm really really wanting to read this book. It's like perfect weather to give it a read as well, well providing it doesn't rain but yeah just would be good to get it on my actual TBR. So, yeah, I'm just going to kind of like shuffle the cards in my hands right here and yeah, I'm not even like, I'm not even like the best shuffler, but believe me, I'm giving them a good shuffle. I can't even, yeah, I think that's a decent enough shuffle, but I'm going to like randomly choose from like this anyway. So, okay, so our first card is okay it's a jack look at this beautiful jack card guys so jack's gonna mr jack's gonna sit here so i've either got to think of like a higher or lower card now i'm just gonna bring you a wee bit closer to the cards so you can see them better there we go so yeah mr jack is here okay Am I gonna go higher or lower? <sighs> Do I go lower? Do I go lower? I'm gonna go lower. Oh my goodness, it's a seven. Okay, I'm safe for now. But this is a horrible card. I'm not allowing myself any swaps. <sighs> this is awful. This is awful. This is awful. This is awful. Oh my goodness. Lower? Oh fuck. It's a 10. I've lost the round. See, I'm no good at this. I'm no good at this. Gavin, I hate you for creating this game for your TBR. Just fuck. Okay, so Spanish Love Deception will not be going on the TBR, but the wrong boy will. However, if I do read the wrong boy, then I can allow myself to read this as part of my TBR as well. So that is the rule. My goodness, I'm no good at this game. <sighs> Great. And then as you would have seen, <laughs> cry face, that the card game did not go my way. And yeah, I lost the round. I didn't get to put the book that I would like to put on the TBR there. So, <sighs> okay, 
okay it's fine it's fine okay so yeah the wrong boy by Anna Louise Weatherly I have owned this for so many years I'm talking probably I was a teenager when I had this book I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure I was still living with my mum so 2007 so 17 yeah that's probably that sounds about right so like yeah I've had this book since I was 17 I'm now 32 so you do the math this is a young adult contemporary I'm hoping that I do enjoy it actually and yeah fingers crossed that I do and hopefully this is one that as it comes out and I read it I'm like why has it taken me so long to read it so yeah it'd be good to knock an old book of the TBR and hopefully it is one that I do end up enjoying Welcome to my grand machine. Inside the grand machine are the books that I would like to read this year. I beginning of the year I created this top ten books that I would like to read in 2022, and I have not had the grand machine come out, so I just thought I would add this edition this month. That way I get a book come out of here that I would like to read. Without further ado, let's pick a ball. Remembering the controls. Yeah. All right. Well, let's see what book this is. Dun, 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 Ooh, the book that has come out is *The Raven Boys* by Maggie Stiefvata. This is awesome because I would like to get this book read. So yeah, I'm really, really super happy that this book has come out. And yes, one of the books off of my. 10 books to read this year, The Raven Boys by Meg Steve Fata. at least this is on a TBR because I do need to get cracking with my 10 books I'd like to read this year because I don't think I've read anything off of the list yet so it would be good to get like something read off of the list um, but yeah I've owned this for so long I've heard so many great things about this actual like series in general and I'm hoping that I'm one that is going to enjoy it. I really like the premise of this, that if she kisses her true love, then they will die, like, and then they're revolved in the world of the Raven Boys, and it's like, who's your favourite Raven Boy? And then it's just, you know, I want to join that world. There's always loads of, like, fandom trinkets that come in, like, Feralute and Illumicrate that's based on the Raven Boys, so it would be good to actually finally, like, get myself involved in the series and then, like, know what everybody is talking about. I've got all the books that are in the series, so fingers crossed this is one that I enjoy. It's not really <laughs> ideal in a sense because I don't really want to be starting too many series, like, this year, as long as I continue or, like, get up to date with the series, because it is one of my targets this year to get myself like reading some series but it's a book that I chose from the top 10 so it's come out so yeah fingers crossed I can get around to reading this in the month of April and if I do hopefully I enjoy it. Also I will quickly mention that the Spanish Love Deception by Elena Armas is going to be the late night book woman book club book for the month of April read this from the very very first of April until the very end. The live show is always on the first Saturday of the next month and so the channel for the live is yet to be decided but yeah this time around we have chosen a standalone so basically we randomly will nominate some books, agree on four books, we put those four books to a vote put the vote up for a week on the late night but one book club twitter page you guys get to vote and the winning book is what will come out it was a really really tight like place between like gone girl by Jim and flynn and the spanish love deception they were kind of like you know neck and neck one was winning then they swapped places so it's an interesting turn of events just watching the poll go um so yeah if you ever want to like join in with like what we read i mean feel free to also nominate books as well and we can also you know if we do own the books and stuff and we agree on it then we can like put that forward for a vote as well give us some ideas 
but this way like we're reading books together we're chatting about books together and this is a book that literally like everyone's kind of like reading so if you've wanted to pick this book up i think it's like in the supermarkets here in the uk so you can get it i think it was like four pounds when i got it from sainsbury's so yeah the supermarkets got it amazon's got it like waterstones have got it wherever you shop for your books get your hands on it give it a read it's a romance book so yeah we shall see um, but I've just had so many great things about this book, so fingers crossed I'm someone who enjoys it. But yeah, I look forward to reading this during the month of April, and yeah, it'd be great to discuss this with you guys. So yeah, let me know down below if you guys can participate in it. As always, all of the book club details are linked in the description box below for you to check out for your own venture. There you have it guys, that is the end of my April World of Kick-Ass TBR game. I wanted to have a really small amount just because of two readathons that I'm participating in <laughs> but I'm able to use these books towards prompts for the readathon so that way I'm technically killing three birds one stone because I'm using books towards the Magical Aurelium readathon as well as the Romathon readathon so that way I get to read my TBR which is great I'm not reading anything off of my TBR necessarily I'm going to try my best to stick to my actual TBR, I do really want to like stick to the books that come out of these TBR games and everything. I'm happy with the choices that have come out as well. I've got a really good mixture actually, I've got a chiclet here, I've got a young adult contemporary, I've got a young adult, I want to say like fantasy, I've got, yeah that's another fantasy, um, that's a paranormal and then that is like an adult fantasy like oh you know this is pretty much adult so yeah we've got a good mixture and fingers crossed that i can get cracking my tbi i really want to like get my head down with some books like this time and actually just get my head down do some reading every day even if it's for like an hour or something i just really, really need to i know that i say that i need to but i just honestly guys i just need to so i just need to like crack the whip get some reading done but yeah, fingers crossed I can get it done. Do let me know down below in the comments if you're participating in the readathons or if you've read any of the books I've mentioned today, how you guys are doing for your TBR, how many books are on your TBR. And yeah, let's discuss what team are you on in the Realmathon, what team are you on in the Magical Readathon. The Magical Readathon, I am the team of the Arcane, I want to say. And in the Realmathon, I am team Bale. Um, also for my Aurelium I'm going to be a demonologist so that'll be interesting to see that and yeah I'm looking forward to it both readathons last like the whole month so it's great like I'm getting books read uh, that's off my TBR hopefully I don't stray too badly but yeah that is it for today's video i hope you guys have enjoyed it if you have don't forget to give it a thumbs up all of my own social media links you will find down below if you'd like to follow me elsewhere i also do have a gaming channel as well called kit Cats can game and also it's the same on my twitch kit Cats can game i am like a sort of gamer streamer as well so i like i've been streaming loads on my twitch i haven't been as active on my youtube because i've mostly been streaming on my twitch so if you do like to watch me game if you like RPGs um, or having a laugh, having a chat with me, then yeah, feel free to like join me on my Twitch and follow me there and you'll get notifications of when I am live. And yeah, it'd be great to see you guys there and like, have a little chat. So if you do like video games, it would be great. And obviously I just am so, so happy with anybody who decides to follow my Twitch channel. So yeah, kick ass a game on Twitch and yeah. That's it really guys, so keep smiling, keep ready and be happy. My name is Katie and I will see all of you wonderful awesome people in my next video. Bye!